All right, Palantir, quite a big breakout here, although we still have this resistance in play, $27.50, which we have not broken yet, and it could still be a double top on the monthly time frame here. But you could see there was like some loading after that earnings pop and then it dropped. There was some loading near the lows, setting higher lows, continue to set higher lows around that support area. It could draw a little bit of a trend. Okay, clear support around this area, bounced off of it several times, and then it went bullish. It's got higher lows and higher highs in the daily time frame, a little bit of a cup and handle on the daily time frame. So this name is looking pretty bullish here, although it's a little bit overextended, and we got to watch that 2750 resistance area. Uh, and after that, then we could look around 29, which is the monthly upper Bollinger Band, and around this area around this area too, which lines up with that up, upper monthly Bollinger Band. I personally would not want to chase it above 29. Uh, so I could see it potentially running to around 29, which is the next resistances I'd see, although it is a little overextended. So I wouldn't want to play it too much further. If it is around that area, 29, let's just say it gaps up tomorrow. Um, I would probably be looking to short it instead uh, for a little bit of a cool down before a potentially continued upside. Although this name overall has been looking quite bullish and it might continue to see some uh, bullish action, but it is around a big heavy resistance area from the past. So it really needs to get by this area with some confidence before we really could be looking towards maybe all time highs and higher. But this area is a bit of a cautious area to be in with this stock still.